It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. I'm not singing right now for two reasons. The, the, the biggest reason is my son is trying to get to sleep. We have this thing we're supposed to go to and we're trying to get him to nap a little early so he doesn't be cranky or need a nap in the mid middle of it. Uh, so I have to kind of talk quietly. Um, I want to keep moving on this though uh, because the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament has been so has been faltering, it hasn't been moving forward. So I'm trying to help it move forward by filming when I get the chance, and this is a chance. Nap time is a chance, uh, whether he sleeps or not. So, uh, and the second reason is there's just a lot to talk about right now. A lot's going on, and it seems like the game might be reaching its culmination soon. I'll get to that in a second though. There was a, a little error from last time that I wanna correct first. Two of Lefty, the Blue Baby's forces, should have been killed that I had them retreat instead. I'd forgotten about um, Roadrunner's people that she was going to use to attack with. I'm okay with fudging that and saying, okay, they did attack. There was nothing Lefty could have done to stop it. Um, so I just had them attack, had those, those fellows die. The reason why I'm okay with it is because I don't think it's really player error. I think it's just my error juggling too many things at the end of the night. Uh, and so that's not really fair to Roadrunner. And it makes for like, I don't know, I don't know if it makes for a more interesting situation. It makes for a more starkly maudlin situation, which is which will be good when if, if I start singing again. I still hear him talking, so I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, but what's maudlin about it? What's maudlin about it is here is Lefty the Blue Baby cornered in this city. He doesn't really have any defenders left except for Selwyn here. And Selwyn doesn't look too um, dangerous, and that's because he's not. Uh, but he could slow down Road, er, Roadrunner enough so that she can't hit him right away. Um, leaving him face to face with um, with Bix Beetleman there, who has you know a, a modest force of two merchants and a diplomat. Uh, Coming, coming at him. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens this turn. Um, everyone took their their turn order cards already. Lefty the Blue Baby opted to go first, and I will show you why he opted to go first. Because he has a handful of wounds, and he, I guess he could have done something to shuffle those back in and draw again. But he has a lot of healing cards, so he could heal those up, get rid of some wounds, and then be able to... Um, you know, maybe have a decent defending hand. He's gonna probably wanna keep a stand here. Uh, I think I'm ruling that this city gives all of his attacks poison, which could be useful to him. I don't know, I'll have to look up on that. But it, I know there's some benefit to defending a city, I think, should be. If there isn't, we'll come up with one, won't we? Um, so that's kind of his situation. He's kind of cornered. Uh, Roadrunner's coming in. Let's take a look here at Bix Beetleman. Bix Beetleman, I think, didn't have too good of a hand. Um, for his situation. He's got a lot of influence stuff, and Bix has been hitting hard on the influence. That would be useful if there was actually someone for him to influence away from Lefty. So Bix's big decision, I think, depending on what Lefty does, is whether to go here and try to recruit. I guess he could recruit someone for, for this spot. Or he could see what's here and try to maybe recruit something there. Or whether he just charges. Maybe he takes this opportunity to charge. He doesn't have... The best attack hand, though. Uh, he could maybe maybe get something out of it. I don't know. That's kind of where he's at. And then let's take a look at Roadrunner. Roadrunner's doing pretty well. I mean, that's no surprise for anyone who's been able to follow this at all. Uh, she's got... She went for Midnight Meditation. Again, though, she doesn't have the best attack hand except for... She has this card here, Into the Heat. Now, this is going to add to the attack power of all her people... Here. So if she comes in for a big a big attack, she could use Into the Heat and really build up the attack power and maybe be able to finish off whoever her opponent is. Uh, I say whoever because it could end up that it's a showdown between her and Dix Beetleman for, for the victory. Um, or she could go in on Lefty the Blue Baby. Let's see what, see what everyone decides. Okay, so we've gone around once. Um, nothing too dramatic happened. Well, kind of. Uh, lefty, he purified his hand, got rid of some wounds. Uh, feels a bit better about what he has now. Um, Bix Beetleman, he crept forward, recruited another guy for his spot there. 
and um, Roadrunner, she also creeped forward. These are kind of, this is a, a big space to walk through, and movement's more difficult now that we did away with the spaceships, which I wish I'd done right off the bat, not use those spaceships. They're, uh, they're problematic for this game. If you ever want to try to duplicate Star Masters, don't do the thing I was doing with spaceships right away. Anyway, she, she burnt up this endless bag of gold. Actually, she didn't have to. Never mind. She didn't burn it up because I forgot she has this thing. Um, this endless bag of gold to bribe Selwyn over to her side. And so that's the last of Lefty's friends. And I'm sure he could sing, like, a really dramatic song about that. But I don't... I have to sing loud when I'm Lefty. When I sing Lefty. And so I feel like it's a good time to be doing that right now. Lefty just had a nice turn. He um, did a mind steal. There were, it's nighttime and there was black mana in there. He was able to use a crystal uh, to mind steal. He chose red. He um, got a nice card, Demonic Ritual, I think, or a Blood Ritual uh, from Roadrunner, which is an advanced tactic that lets him take a wound in order to get some stuff. He can get uh, red mana and then mana of any color, including yellow or black. Black is super useful because you, it lets you use the, the mega effect in spells like Mind Steel. That's not something you get to do all the time. So if you, if you get to, that's great. He's also been burning through his deck fast. I think his, his hope is that um, you know, he, can, he can keep building up and taking from other people uh, so that they uh, don't get to him. <laughs> that's what he's hoping. Uh, end, the, end the night soon um, and then maybe... I don't know, he's just trying to buy time, trying to mess him up as much as possible, trying to build himself up. One thing I'm not sure if I mentioned, but as long as he's in this city, he gets to draw an extra two cards because he's the owner of the city, and he has that poison ability. So it benefits him to stay there even if he is kind of cornered. He's been just kind of discarding his movement cards because he can't really use them. Bix has yet to dive in. He thought about it, but his hand was geared more towards... Uh, recruiting more, and actually what he recruited was some more spells. Um, Bix, for those of you who haven't tra been tracking the game so well, and I admit that that's difficult to do, uh, he's got a lot of influence. He's very good at influencing things, which is kind of the strength of this character. But Bix, is, it, it, it works with kind of Bix's uh, play style as well. So Bix picked the influence thing. He's got a great reputation. He's got a lot of influence cards. He's been getting fame just by recruiting, <laughs> you know, telling stories about himself. Uh, so anyway, he finally put that influence towards the towards the use of getting some magic. Uh, so he has some more spells in his arsenal, uh, maybe better prepared to assault, except he's got some wounds in his hand, so that's going to have to wait. And they're really creeping in. There's just been a lot of um, advancement and improvement. Uh, Roadrunner is able to get an, another uh, special advanced tactic. These are the ones she got, I think, Magic Talent, which Smiley had. They got shuffled back into um, the deck, so some choice ones are out here. She would have liked to get Maximal Effect, but she didn't have the right card to discard in order to get it with the Magic Talent, so she went with, uh, or with, um, with training. Training is what she used. So she went with Magic Talent and said, you have to discard a card of the color of the card you're trying to get in order to get it. But they're both there. There's really nowhere for... Lefty the Blue Baby to go. They're, they're closing in. Each of them, uh, Bix or Roadrunner, just needs to move one space and they're on top of him. Lefty the Blue Baby has a big choice to make right now and it involves this card, this card alone. Well, there's other cards that will uh, maybe weigh his decision making one way or another, but this card would let him fly away. <laughs> he could jump way over here if he wanted, maybe even to there, uh, away from the situation. Um, conversely, this card, if used at night, could be used to give him a huge combat advantage. It lets him uh, uh, skip the, the, the damage phase of, um, of combat, so he would just not get hurt for one round of combat. That would be interesting to see uh, how that would happen against um, Roadrunner. He might take that gambit just to see. I mean, his supporting cards aren't the best, however, for it. Let's see what he has. Chill would be useful. Um, I rule that Chill doesn't work on the other player, though. It could work on their, their characters, but not her. Um, he's got a Wound, which is not useful. <laughs> Blood Ritual, which is useful for Chill. Um, then Crystal Mas Master 
uh, Nastery. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of attack. That's the problem. So he'd be relying really on these guys to finish it off. It's, it's going to be a tough choice for Lefty to make. I mean, he, he doesn't really want to have to run away. He feels like he would just be in another situation again. But he also thinks if he did, maybe these two would end up fighting. Uh, I don't know. And Lefty opted to run. He cut off, uh, in the process, Roadrunner's connection to her planet. Um, this game, I think Wings of Wind is a very powerful card with how, um, how this game is set up because there's these, you know, like lines of control that are necessary to get there, to, to get things to work. So, so basically what that means for, um, Roadrunner, she can't transfer her power to her, her teammates, um, because she's not connected to this planet. So really, only people on the space with her get the benefit of her cards. She can't play cards on her other people if they're, if they're fighting. Um, so that's a, that's a weakness. And also, conversely, her people can't help her. So, you know, if she ends up in a fight with Bix Beetleman, I'm not saying she will, but if she does, Bix Beetleman, uh, she's not gonna be able to draw on Axel or Selwyn or anyone else to help her, uh, unless they happen to be in the same space. And that's going to be where we're going to have to leave it. I have to get ready to go. Um, Bix beetleman has got a big decision to make, and it's going to be his turn next time we play. Does he press this advantage and try to take Roadrunner out, or does he continue with his quest to beat what, in his mind, is the big villain, uh, Lefty the Blue Baby? It's going to be interesting to, to figure out wh whether he goes for the, um, the glory, or whether he goes with his gut, uh, or whether he goes with his... Um, uh, his sense of, of morality and and uh, his sense of himself as being a champion for the oppressed. But then, you know, he could also start thinking about Roadrunner. Maybe she's an oppressor. I mean, she's the, the mighty dragon. She could be the beast in his mind. Um, a lot's going to depend on the psychology of Bix Beetleman uh, next time in terms of how this game is going to progress next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament 7 no, not 7x7 seven seven inches. I still have that ingrained. I've said it so many times. Uh, Protestant Lake 3. Star Masters!